this is the exciting part about the south exposure. You get to be out on this balcony and I can see a handful of other neighbors around me and I can be part of this social fabric of the building. It's a social network really, a physical network. But what I like the best is just creating these real strong connections to the lake, to Hyde Park, to the university and feeling part of the community when you're when you're here. It's really great. More and more we were trying to design buildings for social connectivity in many different ways, especially taller buildings, where I feel like in the past that's been left behind. You know, most of the buildings are square floor plans and boxes stacked up. And in our architecture, we're really excited about making the physical communities more compelling. And here, we're just trying to make this opportunity or set the table for many more kinds of social connectivity. What was on the site before was kind of a suburban strip mall with parking. It was really all about the car. And so, you know, when we conceived of this building, we really wanted it to be very urban, connected on every side with restaurants, small scale retail, larger scale retail, and co-working space. All are what animate the plinth of the building. We wanted to celebrate the aspect of living in the city, but also from the sense of being in a community. And that's one of the main things that drove this design, especially of the south facade, where we created a series of different types of balconies that provide for oblique views to one another. In nature, you have a stem of a plant and the leaves come out in a spiral fashion. And it's similar to what we did here with these balconies. They spiral around as the stem gets taller. But the structural idea there is that all of the loads come down through the stem and are taken all the way to the ground. At the same time, having these stems be independent of the structure, it allows them to be thermally broken from the inside, but also gives them this incredible variety. So everybody's balcony is kind of different. It's a way to animate the building and make you feel part of this community and part of Hyde Park at the same time. It's using the very simple elements to make architecture basically structure and glass. It, and it's how we design the interplay between those very simple elements that make it really a beautiful building. I guess in the tradition of people that worked here in the past, like Mies van der Rohe, who is always expressing his structure on the facade, uh, Wright did the Roby House, which is really an expression of the fabric of brick used in horizontal deployment. So I feel like in that sense, even though it doesn't look like those buildings, it hopefully fits in the tradition of that.